Now Google making major AI announcements at its Google Cloud Next event today, including a set of AI tools. We've got AI tools in the workplace suite, enhancing apps like Gmail, Google Docs, Google Meet for enterprise customers at 30 bucks a month, and AI models from Meta and Anthropic now available uh, on GCP as well. Now, fresh off the stage from that event is Google Cloud CEO Thomas Curian joins us now in an exclusive interview. Thomas, welcome. So um, tell us, tell investors, what's the strategic purpose, particularly with workplace, that gets served here with AI that's going to grow the customer base and grow revenue? We made three important announcements this morning, John. Good to be with you. First, enhancements to our AI infrastructure with a number of new products, including a deeper partnership with NVIDIA to allow people who want to build and train their own models to get the best infrastructure in the world. Second, a broad set of announcements and general availability of our Vertex Enterprise AI platform to help people use models. We enhanced a number of Google's models, as well as we announced uh, models from third parties, including Meta, Anthropic, and a variety of new open source models. Third, we integrated our AI products into Google Workspace and into Google Cloud Platform with Duet AI, which is designed to help users be able to speak in a conversational system and have this AI system empower them in whether it's creating documents, creating slides, taking notes in meetings, or helping them do cybersecurity analysis, data analysis. And All of that. What's the impact that you're seeing um, kind of in, in the beta here on engagement and on productivity, getting work done for your customers with the addition of these AI tools? We have over a million users testing uh, workspace in preview. We have over 50,000 Vertex customers that have increased the number of projects 15 times since March. Engagement, people are finding that when they write an email, more than 50% of the content of the email is generated by the AI model. And they typically are doing a lot more communication and collaboration because they have the productivity of the model. We have made announcements with 36 large customers just at this event, as well as with a number of partners, including, for example, Workday, which is testing the use of our AI models for, for example, creating resumes, et cetera. Mm. So Sundar Pichai putting out uh, a note on this. It certainly seems like there's a feeling out there that, uh, I mean, the stock's up more than 30% since Microsoft made its announcement in, in February. Google stock, Alphabet, that is. You, you got some momentum here. Where does your custom chip strategy, when it comes to AI, fit into this? Because you had an announcement with NVIDIA, but, but you also have your own silicon work that you've been doing. AI is maturing, and there's a range of different kinds of models now. People need a certain set of accelerators for training. They need infrastructure for inferencing. They need technology to handle things like embeddings, where they're sourcing data into search from their enterprise databases. Each of these require different kinds of acceleration. And we offer 13 different kinds of accelerators, the widest in the world. Today, as a result of it, 70% of AI unicorns run on Google Cloud and 50% of every AI startup that was ever funded run on Google Cloud. So those are big numbers showing you the adoption that our cloud is getting from people who know AI best. 